Well, hello. I'm uh, I'm a new new to the Triton community, and uh, we ha I'm Jose Vicente Blasco. I, ha I started a startup with some friends, and we decided to use Triton <coughs> to develop our backend technology. We have mm -hmm. an, an, a product right now that's called Tenlo Ahora that needs to be a, a shipment method for the multi-channel retailers. We try to solve the problem that customers have when, when they buy in the, in the multi-channel retail, in the e-commerce uh, division, the long waits they, they have to do to, to, to actually receive the, their product. Why do they have to wait, for example, 48 hours if the shop where they bought, it's in the same city? So we are trying to, to give that a solution with tenloahora.com and Okay, so the, back, the backend where we developed is it's a Triton server with some custom modules that allow us to, to calculate or compute in real time uh, what the customer is, is seeing in the, in the e-commerce platform and to check if the product he's actually buying or he has in, in his cart uh, are available for shipping for us. So, if we, for example, try to. Oops. Yes, it's uh, you won't see this cover because it's at, um, at the resolution of the laptop. I didn't configure it. If you need, I can change the configuration. Ah, no, not really. Don't worry. Escolta, ¿tienes productos que tenían aquí? Vale. ¿Qué qué? Your English is... <laughs> yeah, my English sometimes, sometimes it's not... English of the South. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so... What we're doing with Triton, really, is to... For example, if I add this, this product to my cart, <coughs> and we try to check out, hmm? let's see if I have a user here. Oops. Hmm. Yeah. Right now, the, the modules we developed for the e-commerce platforms, we have a module developed for Magento and another one developed for PrestaShop that right now when the customer selects his shipping, his or her shipping address, in this step, we ask for the Triton server to, to check if we can make this shipment if the postal code is available, if we have carriers available for that, it should work anyway. Well, if we have carriers available for that direction and how much will that shipping be for the customer? Because mm, there, I know we, there will be some retails where we will have a closed price, but there will be other retails where we'll have a dynamic price or dynamic pricing for our shipments. So I don't really know why it's, why it's not going. Okay? Maybe, I'm sure it's, no, but anyway, mm, be believe me, if the problem is in the Triton server, that would have exploded already. <laughs> Magento is somehow special and uh, a help for a, for a developer to, to dive in. So, uh, 
believe me, if Triton server fails, uh, Magento explodes. No way to... You can try to handle the exception, but it's not really easy. Magento developers didn't think that that handling exceptions uh, would be really nice. So, in this case, of course, uh, we can ship it with Tenlo Ahora. So, you can select the shipping method and just select if when you want to resave your product. You want it in less than 90 minutes, or maybe you want it tomorrow at six o'clock because I ride from I ride home from from work. So right now we just can't continue with the checkout process. Sí, hombre. Ahora sí que me has tocado la pava, tío. Y tenemos un altre que no estoy implementado. O sea, tenemos sin magentos ahí y no, no ni a ninguno que no tenga... Ahora sí que me toca la fama. Bueno, well, anyway, anyway, you just need to... to... <coughs> Pues sale, ves plenante y mientras vas explicando. <laughs> okay, I'll show you guys. Do, do you have a Triton client here? Uh, yes, uh, for 3.0. Should, should not to the test. Uh, I am not sure, don't know at the moment. I'm not fully aware of all. Okay. Well, that's my credit card number. You can... <laughs> okay. Uh, this, at least disconnect this. <laughs> No, wait, I can't. I, I, I want to do the only one that you can't record it in my computer. You don't worry. Put the cable before. No, that's for not having one. This doesn't have, this is the university card. So. <laughs> anyway, anyway, as he finishes the checkout, what we've done is to just implement a package in, in our Triton server to, to pass all the information about the customer, his card, and whatever we need, for example, the payment method he used to pay in the e-commerce platform, to our Triton server to compute that information and generate the corresponding sale order uh, and generate the corresponding email to notify us uh, that we have a new, a new, a new so order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 yet. <laughs> right now, that's an, an MVP. <coughs> we will sooner or later, or as soon as I have, for example, the Magento and Prestige of Code fixed, because I have some nasty things around going on, and I don't see it, uh, real quality code. And the modules in Tenlo Ahora, we are trying to develop. I didn't say anything in the mailing list because uh, I had a month and a half, and it took me at last three months to develop all this. So I had, I was quite in a hurry. So right now that I don't have that uh, uh, that need, I I start maybe publishing the code. If any if anyone wants, for example, well uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> two mobile phones uh, a bit expensive, but yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Sí. <laughs> Okay, so we place the order, and that order right now, Magento is generating all the information Triton is prepared to receive <coughs> in our package. Uh, it's it's already generated the customer, generated all the products from the commerce platform, categorized by our customers in the Triton server because we need to know what the customers bought because we need to generate the, well, we call it Albaranes, I don't know, uh, the, 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 the shipment notes, because we need to, to aut automatize, automatize. to automatize uh, all the process uh, in the workflow 
where we notify the, the carriers to where do they have to go and what do they have to pick from the shop and where do they have to deliver it. And we need to notify the shop that they have to prepare a package. So I have, I have the idea to release, for example, the Magento module because we, I, I noticed, for example, that a carrier module in Magento almost needs to, at last our module, needs to approach every Magento area you, could, you can imagine. Because in the backend or back office in Magento, we need to, to be able to allow our customers mm -hmm. to say, I want this product to be able to be shipped by 10 hora, or I don't want this product to be shipped by 10 hora, because they need to have it in a stock in their shops. For example, we needed to add another carrier. It was not an easy task. For example, we needed to modify how the carrier is shown in the Magento platform. Believe me, it's not an easy task to. I think it's much harder to develop in here than developing inside Triton when Triton is a much more complex platform than this, because that's an e-commerce, <laughs> just an e-commerce. And Triton is a whole ERP platform. We have the modules too for PrestaShop. For example, PrestaShop was developed in one week, this one was developed in one month, for example. Anyway, uh, I would like to... El... Ahora sí. <laughs> sí, no sé, yo ya no te ya no te capa, aunque creía que Sí. Ah, está igual. Aquí ya está en la pantalla funcionando. So, right now I'm I'm going to try to to show you the Triton side of the of the product. And I know that maybe the modules that really do the hard work in the Triton part maybe for speed terms are not the best code you can find around. But for sure we have a challenge that wasn't solved by the carriers <coughs> module in Triton that we need. And the problem was that we needed to, to be able to compute the price a carrier has based on the postal code I am going to ship a product. We have the, the base price based on product we have the percentage, we have uh, the wave based uh, price, and I develop fast and, and nasty module to be able to compute uh, a, a postal code matrix, and we need, and that's the part we I didn't really have time to do, we need to decorate that because some, some carriers some some carriers have the have some some pluses to day price. For example, if it's raining, if it's raining, they are more expensive. And I know that sucks, but it's real. If you if you get the price matrix when when you get the email, they say if it's raining, it's one more euro to deliver. It, if you say it's okay, but. Oh my God, that, that really sucks for my customers. Anyway, uh, I think we, we really need to, in our case for Tenla Hora, we need to put more effort in, in the carrier module. I think I'll, I'll, throw, the, I'll throw that to the, to, the, to the mailing list. I don't know precisely in which one. It's devs or country, I don't know. You, you, you'll tell me, guys. But uh, I really need some help because I'm not a real developer. I just did this work uh, just for because it was needed to be done. But uh, I don't know really how to, or I need some ideas to how to de really decorate that uh, that carrier for for being flexible enough to add every plus you could need without the need to predefine the, the, the kind of over cost you are adding to the carrier. That's the Triton side. So we, 
the part the purchase we made in in the commerce platform it's already here so right now we have the information of the party that bought and to what the commerce platform does this party come from all the shipping information about the address of the customer we needed to know the payment method the customer used because if it's for example a payment method they they made at a bank transfer or maybe a, a check we cannot really deliver without before asking the e-commerce platform how should we react to that because the customer hasn't paid and he's going to receive the product maybe in less than 90 minutes so maybe the e-commerce platform doesn't really agree on that and the products we already have in our database that come from the e-commerce platform after that we just made some triggers for debugging or logging I needed to develop another module because our our customer our uh, commerce modules will be in our customer servers so if I really log in their servers maybe I won't have access to that log to that log or to those logs so I needed to if something failed have some way to notify my server and the storage in my server to take some measures and after that we just program some triggers for sending emails when it's required so someday I hope sooner than later I will uh, publish the e-commerce platform code and the Triton code and yeah yeah there are uh like there is a module for both Magento and Trustesoft which integrates with Triton. Yeah. yeah. So did you uh, like what was the inspiration? Like, is there is there a reason why that cannot be used? Like, uh, is there a reason why that cannot be used? That cannot be used. You, like, did you take it out? Like, why did you, you, why did you main your module since there is in already one in yeah. available? Com, com? Hi ha un mòdul que integra Magento i Triton. No, hi ha dos. Aquest el tercer. Però hi ha tres. We haven't really, we, we, we didn't really integrate all the whole e-commerce platform, you know? We just integrate, uh, uh, integrated a small part. The only, the only issue we found integrating that small part of the e-commerce platform, that's adding the carriers, we don't do anything else, uh, is that I needed to add, because of our customer requests, uh, added some fields in the e-commerce platforms that is going to be only available for the e-commerce platform, not for the Triton one. In fact, I only asked Triton two times, and I asked, do I have a, a, a carrier available for this? And what's the price if I have that carrier? That's all. And at the end of the checkout process, I only send information. I, I didn't need a, a whole Magento integration with Triton. Just a small part. But I think that maybe that a small part that we integrated with Triton may be useful for someone that maybe is, try, is trying to integrate another small part. Because if you try to approach Magento in I need a whole integration and I'm only going to use a carrier, you're done. You're going to have an opportunity cost that I'm sure you won't be able to afford, because Magento is a really complex platform. If you have something little done for a co for a precise thing, use it, because <laughs> you will you will thank anyone. For example, you could try to approach that way to PrestaShop, because pr I, I I think PrestaShop code I I don't really like it. It's uh, they have logic in the templates and and they they did lots of nasty things in PrestaShop, but it's an easier platform to approach to it, and you can try to fully integrate with it without many problems, but not Magento way. Magento database, it's another word for, for, for databases. Yeah, Sarun, uh, I developed a, a Python library to connect Magento. Mm -hmm. A little bit, the Python Magento, and after the OpenRT, the Django, Triton, you can use this library to connect to the Django. To, to Magento, to a by web service. 
is easy. It's much. You mean to to integrate? You would say that I that I would do with that library. Yeah, but I don't need to synchronize. My my problem is that I cannot go from the Triton side yes, to the comment side. Yes, to Magento side. call a uh, action in my web service. At Triton, mm -hmm. Triton call a Magento and return the dictionary about the load web. Oh. Yeah, but that's not what I need. I just needed to expose some ser some. Uh, in fact, it's I only exposed two methods of Triton for Magento to use. Uh, I can't read Spanish, so I assume this is a fail order screen, right? Hmm? This is yeah, Yeah, I have a method that generates the fail order in the fail. Yeah, and so that's, that's what we are talking about. So that okay. part of it, it could have been, uh, it's easier to fetch from Magento rather than push to the ERP. Because pushing to the ERP will have to do it multiple times. Like that the payment is received, if the payment failed, if the order is cancelled. So. Yeah, I know, I know. It's so easier to develop in Python than yeah. in Magento. Yes. It's Magento, I, I forget Magento. I call the web service, I do the dictionary, the value, and I work the dictionary. But the Magento, I don't, I don't work in Magento. Yeah. Nothing. No, no, I, I, I will have a look for, for a future, for sure. But being a, a, a same day delivery uh, platform, we, we, we cannot really rely in the management that the, for example, owner of the e commerce platform is doing. I mean, I really need to. As soon as the customer's payment is validated, I need to uh, start calling my carrier to move them on. I don't really care if that uh, own, that e-commerce <coughs> owner really accepts that uh, that uh, that sale order or not, because in my contract with my customer, uh, it's there will be a no sé cómo se dice cláusula. Uh, there will be a paragraph. a paragraph to to tell him that as soon as I receive a, a sale order, that won't be, that will be unstoppable. Uh, I have another question that's related to the carrier that you were talking about. Hmm? The carrier, the courier. Yeah, carrier. Yeah. Uh, the rate thing which is draining. Yeah. yeah. Do they expose it on an API? Do they give you an API to? Mm, not really. I, I, I wish they they would. They I wish they would. That would be my my ideal thing. Have you mm. considered <laughs> delivering with drones, given that you need to be very fast? Come come. <laughs> you, uh, using drones. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the only thing we did for for carriers, for example, <laughs> is to just generate a matrix that that allows you to define postal code ranges okay. and the price associated for that postal code range. I must say that uh, for the six zero zero eight uh, in the database of uh, postal codes of uh, the Country, countries in module that I, I'm not sure if, if it's Fixed Media or, or Nantic. Uh, th there's there there's one there postal code that... that big enough because I didn't know anything about Magento, I didn't know anything about PrestaShop, and I didn't know anything about Triton. So I had to learn to develop in Magento, develop in Triton, and I think that maybe when you have that, maybe you can try to approach a library that already makes them work together. But first you have to learn them by isolated. So so I took the, the fastest approach I could and was developing for on my own. Not because uh, now that I know that they exist and I know other things that can be done, or for example, you can do really great things with with Narrate, for example, with a RESTful API, 
API, for I would maybe take other decisions, but uh, I wasn't prepared at that time to, to make decisions like that. No, no, uh, in, in fact, I think the, 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 I have to say that what made me take the decision to move to Triton, believe me, was not right. I know that Triton, or I believe Triton was more scalable than OpenERP, which the, 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 the project we were implementing before was based on OpenERP. We, we noticed that OpenERP scalability was, was a real mess. And we moved to Triton because of Narrate and potential scalability. Why Narrate? Because l sooner or later, we will need to expose the shipments to our customers. We will maybe try to negotiate with our carriers to have an Android real-time geolocalization app, app to allow customers to check their traceability of their of their shipment in real time. We have the Android application developed. We have to migrate it to Triton. Uh, we have the OpenERP modules that geolo geolocate the parties, and we need to move them to Triton too. And I plan to, if someday I can do that, to release the code, for example. And that's all. That's ten hours. Um, thanks for for hearing me. Okay. Thank you.